Consultant, and my title here is Vice President and uh, Senior Account Executive. And I've been with Triscom for about three and a half years now. What advice would you give to an intern? Uh, one of the pieces of advice that I always give interns is to slow down uh, and double and triple check your work. Um, I've worked with a lot of interns over the years and uh, usually uh, they're in such a hurry to get things done, to get it accomplished and off their to-do list and onto the next uh, assignment that they, they frequently forget to double check their work. And if you double check your work, you're more likely to uh, catch some of those uh, little silly mistakes that we all make. And it doesn't matter how long you've been in this business, everybody makes mistakes. So if you check it two or three times before turning it in, um, it's going to be a lot, clear, a lot cleaner and uh, you're going to be a lot happier with the result and uh, your supervisor will also be a lot happier with your result. Uh, the other piece of advice that I like to give uh, is to always volunteer for everything. Um, anytime your boss needs a volunteer to do anything, no matter what it is, whether it's something with the database or pitching or writing or researching, no matter what it is, I, I, I suggest volunteering for it. Um, for one thing, it, it shows a lot of initiative, which uh, gets you points with the boss, which is always a good thing. Uh, but the, the other thing is that it really gives you broader experience, so that can help prepare you for your next job. It can give you experience that you might not have otherwise had. It also helps you to uh, really analyze your strengths and your weaknesses and your passions uh, so that when you do get placed in your next job, hopefully it's, it's a really What is your favorite story you've ever worked on? I think one of my favorite stories that, that I've worked on was with Operation Kindness. They had this orphaned kitten that was having a really hard time. It wasn't eating and they were trying to bottle feed it to give it the nutrition that it needed, but it just, it wasn't taking it. And about the same time, uh, this little bitty dog uh, had a bunch of, of puppies and was nursing and they got the kitten to nurse from the dog and so the dog basically uh, adopted this kitten and became its foster mom. And because uh, the cat was nursing from the dog, it, it got the nutrition that it needed and it, it, saved, it saved its life. Uh, and uh, this was a really fun story to work on. We got a lot of coverage for Operation Kindness uh, on this story. We had uh, all the TV crews come out, um, except for one here in the area. Uh, so that's that's always a good thing and that story actually also went national. We had uh, national pickups from other TV stations and we also had print coverage so we we're very happy with the coverage that we got for our client Operation Kindness. What skills are needed to succeed in PR? There's a lot of different skills that you need to succeed in PR. Uh, first and foremost I'd say communication skills are paramount. Um, both written and oral. Uh, written is more important now than it than it used to be. I know that sounds kind of funny, but uh, because we do so much of our pitching these days via email uh, and, and through social media channels, it's very important that uh, the things that you write are strong enough uh, to get your message across uh, and uh, also uh, brief enough to get it across uh, in a way that's not going to debore your audience completely. So um, always good to have those skills. Um, I think a positive attitude is also very important uh, for being in, in PR. You get a lot of rejection in this job. Uh, for every time you get a yes from, from a media contact, you probably will have had 10 to 12 no's beforehand. Uh, so it's, it's very important uh, that you kind of develop a thick skin and always have a positive attitude that, okay, I didn't get it this time, but maybe I'll get it next time. Uh, and just to keep going. So. I think those probably the most important things. Obviously, there are some other skills that are also helpful. Um, researching skills are very helpful. We do a lot of research to figure out which publications we need to uh, be focused on and uh, which editors and reporters uh, that we need to be talking to. Um, so that's a big part of it. We also do a lot of research for our clients themselves. And here at Triscom, we have a wide variety of clients that we service. So you kind of have to be a jack of all trades. What are three things we would find on your desk? Okay, um, I have three things that on my desk that would um, really help me do my job. Uh, a pin, 
and some scratch paper, which I always have no matter where I am. Um, I guess I'm a little old school in that regard. Uh, I like to make to-do lists and I also like to brainstorm uh, and write down um, things that I need to remember to do uh, on scratch paper. I do that all the time. Then the other thing that I absolutely have to have on my desk to do my job is a picture of my daughter. Um, I always have one with me at my desk and uh, the reason is because it reminds me of why I do what I do. Um, I want to teach her that it's okay to, to have a career and a family and I want to teach her that if you are going to work, uh, you need to work hard and you need to be passionate about what you do. And um, it also reminds me that at the end of the day that I have this wonderful little person to come home to. So uh, that's why I, I, I like to look at her when I can. She keeps me going, keeps me motivated. What was your first job? My first job? Um, when I was in fourth grade, I started my own business cleaning houses. And so at 10 years old, I would go to people's houses and I would clean them top to bottom. I would dust, I would vacuum, I would sweep, I would mop, I would fold your laundry, uh, I would take care of your dog if you had a dog, whatever you needed me to do. And uh, I charged, uh, I think $25 per house. Uh, so, you know, of course, as a 10 year old, that, that's a lot of money. Uh, now I look back at it and go, wow, I really undercharged. But uh, <laughs> I also had a, a thriving business at age 10 and I went and opened my own bank account with that and I've basically been working ever since. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movies are Court Jester and Noises Off. Do you support any charities? Yes, I have several that I support. Um, I financially support Austin College, uh, which is where I went to school. And uh, I also support Score Goal in the Classroom, which is a, a nonprofit uh, in this area. It serves North Texas, uh, helps encourage kids to stay in school, and also encourages uh, educators to keep educating. Uh, I also support Operation Kindness. Uh, again, uh, it was one of Triscom's clients, and uh, they're the oldest and largest no-kill shelter here in North Texas. If you had one superpower, which would it be? I would like to fly. If I had one superpower, I would really like to fly. Uh, and uh, people have asked me, you know, would if you could fly, would it actually help you in PR? Well, I think it probably would because then I would be uh, on time to uh, all of my meetings, or at least hopefully closer to being on time to all of my meetings. So I think flying would be a really awesome, awesome experience. Thank you for spending time with us, Krista. It's good news week. Someone's dropped a bomb somewhere, contaminating atmosphere and blackening the sky. It's good news week. Someone's found a way to give the rotting dead a will to live, go on and never die. Have you heard the news? What did it say? Who's won that race? What's the weather like today? It's good news week.